Hello and welcome onto this Speedbird BRAC uh, PMDG 747-400 today. We're currently about 20 minutes out from Singapore right now. Currently cruising at 37,000 feet and with a speed of 521 knots. Um, I think we've got quite a quite a strong tailwind with us today. Yeah, I didn't record my departure out of Heathrow uh, just because it was late at night and you wouldn't have really seen much anyway. But I'd, I want to do like a mix of full flights and sort of just landings or just takeoffs or something like that. Just to you know, to make the make the most out of it. I did uh, pre-install the Imagine Sim Singapore. I didn't check it out before I took off, so I'm hoping that it actually loads and all works. So I'll go ahead and fast forward some of these clips for you, uh, just so we're you know a bit lower and close to the airport. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few moments. Now it's currently sort of five half five I think in the sim, so we should be landing on sunset hopefully, so it should look really really good. But if we go ahead and take a look at this project fly approach, uh, it's not looking too bad at the moment. Sort of down and then we're in on uh, a runway. <laughs> not sure what number it is yet, but um, it's, it's something. See so yeah, at this point, um, I was so thankful for something, and that was autosave. As you can see here, my computer blue screened about this point in the recording. Luckily it did save and didn't corrupt. But my gosh, we were um, yeah, very, very reliant on the autosave here. Um, luckily FSU IPC saved every 20 minutes and we could uh, go back like 5 minutes so I didn't have to do much of the flight again. But yeah, uh, that happened. So obviously because of that we've sort of been backtracked about 20 minutes, which actually it, it worked out nicely because of the sunset. So yeah, we'll go ahead and put our gear down, and then we're on our final approach into 2-0 right, as I found out. And luckily for us, the airport is working, so we've got nice scenery on landing. That's all good. Not that we can really see it, because it's dark, but... <laughs> for those of you who's wondering, well, I'm using uh, Rex Skyforce 3D, as well as Rex Environment Force. And I believe that's what's given the sort of the blue haze in the distance. If you've seen any of my previous videos as well, you'd know how uh, interesting my 747 landings can get, so uh, here we go. But yeah, I'll go ahead and shut up and uh, enjoy my bounce into Singapore. I don't think we slowed down the plane enough, but that was definitely uh, two touchdowns. <laughs> and if that was a real life landing, I don't think I'll be uh, in a plane anytime soon. But yeah, we got the spoilers extended and uh, reversed out, so I mean, that that's a good thing about the landing. They actually worked, so yeah. Go ahead, vacate off the runway here, taxi to gate, and then we can uh, do a little replay of that awful landing into Singapore. But other than that, the scenery's good, and uh, the plane's nice, I guess. Well, it was in good condition. But yeah, a few stats about the flight. Uh, total block time was 14 hours, 29 minutes, and we travelled a distance of 5,872 nautical miles, uh, so very, very far. And we burned 137 tons of fuel, 
and we carried 356 passengers on board with us, along with uh, two landing mates of 177 and uh, one Niner 7s, uh, which definitely was not on the marks. But uh, yeah, because I didn't test the, jet test the scenery just before I came here, unfortunately the jetways are not working, so I might need to have a look at the sode or something like that. But you can see in front of us the uh, Singapore Changi Airport uh, logo there, so it's quite a nice gate to go into here. Luckily for me, we actually have auto gate, otherwise I don't think I will be anywhere on this line. Oh yeah, I also forgot to uh, turn off engines like on taxi, but never mind. We'll kill all four now, definitely a pro pilot. So yeah, welcome down into Singapore. I believe it's currently uh, almost 6pm in the evening. But we made it down safely, it's, yeah, that's an understatement, but yeah, we, we are down on the ground without crashing. But yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, show you some replays of the landing. For those of you who don't know, uh, it's chase plane replay mode that I'm using. Uh, you have to enable the experimental version, um, but it only works on some aircraft with the flaps, reverses and everything. I believe it works on the Quality Wings Dreamliner, um, but unfortunately the wing flex, the flaps, everything didn't work on the PMDG 747. So that's why it looks a bit a bit strange on the replay, but it's better than nothing, eh? So there's our bounce uh, onto the far left of the runway, but I suppose the passengers don't know any different. Yeah, if you stuck around the whole video, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you uh, enjoyed that video. Uh, please remember to like to up there. I'll start that again. Please remember to like, subscribe, uh, comment your thoughts, and uh, yeah, uh, have a nice week, have a nice weekend, whatever you're doing, and uh, yeah, I'll see you very shortly. Bye for now.